Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Here's Ahmed Nasser with a new tutorial from Stereo 007 at YouTube. So, in this tutorial, we're just gonna uh, do some technical stuff. If you go to SQL Management Studio, okay, just click on that, connect. Here we got connect button, just click connect okay we go to man I just duplicate the screen so I need to quit one of them okay here so go database uh, we need to insert some data into the database so if you go here and go tables and you go to employees okay or let me check the department so just click here and edit top 200 rows and here we got nothing here we need to insert so let me define this as one and here we just define the department let me see IT and here we define human resource and find a third one okay we define three departments with their names okay and we need to save this it's automatically saved so if you go to uh, the the department table and select top 1000 rows you gotta see all the department uh, you know shown here so we need to we need to um, save this database so we got this database Ahmed Company or Ahmed Company okay so we need to save this database um, assume that you have a friend and your friend told you to hey uh, Ahmed I need your database so how you can give him the database uh, maybe you can uh, execute a query and copy the query and send it to your friend or maybe you just get the physical database and move it to your friend so in order to do that you need to know where's the database located in your hard drive so since is uh, since this database is name uh, is Ahmed company we need to get this database where is this database located to know that you just select the database okay and close all the stuff from here okay no and you create here and see uh, you, you get this option new query so you just select new query and here just type the following sp underscore help and this command help you to get the database uh, bath where is the database is located in your hard drive so just execute okay execute sp with sp help and okay we here we executed that it's debugging okay okay so wait a little bit and just stop the debugging click here and after that you're gonna see the funnel so we got this okay you can see all the tables all the stuff here because we didn't specify the database name so we go again up here a sp and type the database name so we got tbo dot oh, let me just select the, 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 the database which is Okay, execute this okay so we got an error so let me just try use the following go here and type use this execute it okay we have incorrect near SP so maybe we need to use go and we need to execute this so SP help and just type semicolon here and type go 
execute now we got the same result we got all the tables so let me search for Ombly for example okay maybe this way is not gonna work with me but anyway there's other way all the time there's other way so the other way is just go from here to your computer uh, go see program files and you gotta search for uh, Microsoft SQL Server so here we mm, yes this one go my MySQL uh, SQL Express this one and you gotta search for databases so where which, what folders backups okay backups click continue and okay it's not this I think one of these um, I think this one no not this one this one one of these files data oh uh, yes this one this file so you go to uh, C program file SQL server uh, okay data this file and you find this database so you can just click here and copy this database and after that you can send it to your friend okay so this is the first way and there's other way that you can use this uh, if you go to uh, your database here and you see the command or let me just minimize this here go task there's a det detach option okay detach so you click detach and you see the screen okay you can select drop and update here or you cannot select anything so you just uh, put OK uh, on the screen here there's a button OK so you can see it's, ex it's executing here okay wait a little bit we got this error message uh, it's failed to detach so uh, you can go here and um, click OK again let me see what's going on so it succeed so if you go here databases you cannot see the database because it's detached so if you go to the folder that folder again my computer and C program files uh, SQL server this one yeah and data so it's detached so I, I can just go uh, go here and copy it and paste it whatever you wanna paste okay and in the case that you wanna attach the database you come again to the databases and type attach okay and okay here you can see add we just click add and after that you select the database so here we just select the bad this is the database and click OK so we selected the database with its log file okay and just click OK and it's ex executing and if you back here you can see the database is back to its path so this is a way sometime you need to uh, restore the database sometime you need to back up a database uh, all the time there's an options you can uh, back up database if you have a database you can back up the database from here uh, okay it's an easy process but a lot of time you need to know what is the database you need to move the whole database so that is the way you go to this folder uh, Microsoft C uh, you know SQL Express and data you, you find this and just copy and paste so sometimes you need to uh, move your project give your project to your friend and uh, sometimes you need to copy the database and go to projects for example uh, you know mm, projects uh, we have database this one you can see this folder sometimes you need to 
put the database here it's give you file access denied just click OK can move that here so it's copying so you know it's give you that this is you know you cannot do this because you need to detach the the, the database so just back to SQL management and just type detach here just go detach okay and click OK and go to the f the folder here can try refresh this can copy this and move back to the folder and cancel this old operation and try the new one so it's easily done so a lot of time maybe you need to detach a database you need to detach it and after that you can move it so um, and when you detach it when you when you want to reback it you just put attack attach man attack okay attach and uh, just add and just select the old database and click OK so here we go okay you can go database nothing changed you can go tables and select everything is good and here you can select so nothing changed okay so this is basically for this tutorial I know it's it, this tutorial is more technical than it's uh, about databases but uh, trust me this is very important because a lot of people have all times have troubles in doing that uh, I hope that I helped you and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial we're gonna retrieve data from database into a form and after that we're gonna continue with our Dell and other stuff so see you there